All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to, to uh, re-enable the cube for the Unity desktop. So uh, I've been kind of hesitant to make this video mainly because, uh, you know, if you screw up, you can. there's a possibility you're going to lose all your data. If you're, if you're running Wubi, you know, for instance, because, you know, you, with, with, with a standard install, when you partition your drives, if you use a, a live CD, you can still gain access to your data and, you know, pull it out. But Wubi, I don't, from what I know, you can't really do that. So... If you're going to attempt to do this, uh, make sure you back up all your data. But um, anyways, right now I'm, I'm, on, I'm in the uh, Ubuntu, uh, oh, what is this called, the, the desktop without the effects. So pretty much if you screw up, this is where you're going to end up at. Like this is where I kind of want you to be at when you, when you uh, actually, uh, if you fail, I guess I should say. So um, to get to this point, you, you really need to do this. All right, uh, go to your administration I think it's login login screen um, unlock it you know with your password and uh, it should say uh, where's it at right here where it says login automatically or whatever make sure that's unchecked like don't have that check make sure it's just uh, your standard uh, you know show screen you know pretty much when you type in your password login make sure you have that enabled so if you do screw up, you can always uh, log in in the in the classic uh, default mode without the uh, effects. So this way, when you're in here, in case you fail, right, you just uh, open up. I'm going to leave a leave this in, your, in the description down below. You just run these two uh, commands. So you run this, open your terminal. Okay, you just just copy that first line, paste it in here, then hit enter. Then you copy the second line. Then you paste that and hit enter, and that should reset your Unity desktop. Basically, what that does, it removes all your computer settings, all the settings you, you uh, messed around with or whatever. It'll reset it back to default. You'll lose everything as far as like what you had customized before, like your wobbly windows and all your effects. You're gonna lose all that, but it'll gain access back to your Unity desktop. So, so that's it for now. I'm gonna log into Unity, and we're gonna see if we can get that cube thing going. All right, so I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I just logged into Unity. So, uh, okay, first things first, uh, open up your terminal. And we're not going to do anything yet, but basically what you need to do as a safety precaution, I suppose, um, right-click on it and go to uh, where it says always on top. Click on that and kind of make it smaller, you know, make it like so. All right, now... Um, I'm gonna put in on, on the on the description down below what you need to have installed. Pretty much, you need to have installed your Compute Setting Manager, and if you want the extra plugins like your, uh, I guess your Animation Plus or whatever, install that as well. All right. So let me launch the uh, Compute Setting Manager. Okay. And uh, if you want, make notes of what's enabled. All right. Um, since I kind of know what I want, uh, I'm just going to do what, what I usually do. But if you know what you want, of course, and just enable what you need. So I'm just going to give you the basics of how to get this going after that. Um, we'll just go on from there. So for, so now we're going to actually do this. So so when you actually start clicking on these things, your desktop's going to go berserk and crash and, and take a crap on you. But from there, we're going to have to build it back up. So that's the whole point of this. It's like basically once you get it going... Or enabling it it's just gonna die but you're gonna have to actually fit not physically but you know clicking on these little things you have to build it back up to where it's usable again so let's get started so we're gonna click on the cube disable wall disable these plugins now all your plugins just disappeared so it should crash there it goes Notice your you have no more uh, title bars or anything because that's not checked. This is that's that's your title bar. That's your window de decoration. So I'm just gonna work from the bottom. Well, not really. Let me just start with the cube. We'll build from the cube. So click the cube, enable the OpenGL or whatever that is. Enable that. All right. Now uh, let's see the rotate cube. We'll get that. Your viewpoint switcher. You need that too. Your expo. You need that. Your uh, see enhance desktop zoom, whatever the hell that is, just enable that. All right. Your gnome compatibility thing, go ahead and do that. All right. 
all your animations if you have those installed click on that enable animations enable whatever that is enable your 3d windows also your decoration for your title bar so you can grab and move it all right well that that'll just add your title bar but see i can't move it i can't grab it so to, in order to do that go to the bottom where it says move window click on that now you should be able to move your windows and this is also for resizing as well see i should be able to move it now now i can move it and this is to resize so you can actually you know do a little resizing thing all right uh, i think also scales another one that i use okay and uh the grid will en enable that i'll show you a little trick with that later okay so we got all this kind of enabled up and going it's not ac actually running yet all right but um Oh, and the last thing, not the last thing, but uh, where it says general, click on that. Desktop size, put that to one, where it says uh, vertical. Horizontal, set that to four. Okay. Now we need to go back a step. Now for the last thing right here, it says Unity plugin, click on that. And it's going to ask you to resolve conflicts, just hit ignore. That's what I've been doing, so... It should go berserk again, hopefully. Okay, now in your terminal, we're going to type compiz dash dash replace. C O M P I Z space dash dash replace. Oops. P. Uh, I'm doing this one-handed. Sorry, let me uh, try this again. Sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. Now hit enter. And uh, for you guys, when when your uh, when your screen actually reappears, uh, just log out immediately. Just log out and log back in. But for me, since I'm recording, I have to encode this video. So right now, log out. All right, so now I'm back into my desktop, and I just want to show you that the cube does work, and uh, you can still flip it around, right? Um, I did some tweaking already. I just want to show you how I, what I did, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to be running out of time. So, uh, all right, to get the cube to flip immediately like this, go to, where are you at? Where are you? There you are. Rotate cube. Go there, where it says additional settings. This upper one right here where it says flip time, set that to 5. And it should fix this little problem. Because when you do it the first time around, it's going to be really slow. So that, that fixes that. All right. As far as your, uh, your uh, what do you call it, your snapping feature, okay, you know, your for your windows to, you know, to snap to the left or to the right. If you go up, it works fine. If you go to the top left, it works. If you go to the top right, it works just like that. To, in order to do that and remove the, the edge bindings, go to your grid plugin down here. Click on that. Go to uh, edges, resize actions. Leave the top three alone and the bottom right here set to none. And that should take care of that. All right. Now, let's see what else can I show you? Uh, like all these extra plugins, like that's kind of really up to you, what you personally use, okay? Like I said before, if you took notes of what plugins were enabled and what were disabled, you know, you can go from there if you want. Um, just keep in mind that when you do start messing with these plugins after you logged out and log back in, um, like if you can enable, like you can mess with the settings, but when, as soon as you start checking boxes on the plugins themselves, you, the the desktop should get all crazy again and, and wonky all right so just keep that in mind when it starts to act up again just log out log back in and it should be okay afterwards all right so let me what else can i show you oh yeah as far as the cube like you know see how it has this ugly little tan brown thing if you don't like that just go to appearance and set you know the little colors to black right all right and uh, you probably notice that you don't have a shadow. See, I have a shadow right here. 
you don't have a shadow and you, and you don't really care about it, then, then don't bother doing this. But if you want the shadow back, um, I'll put the instructions down below. But first thing you need to do is uh, hold Alt and press F2. Type gconfig. I already have it in my history, so I'm just going to click on it. All right, where are you at? Go to Apps. Comp is general screen zero and go to options all right so right here it's going to say active plugins right so right click edit key now where it says uh or this little section right here where it has all these little uh you know core and whatever you're going to click add and you're going to type img png all lowercase all one word and uh, just to give you a warning because I couldn't do this while I was recording because it crashed my desktop recorder but just to give you a warning when you hit OK it's gonna it's gonna totally crash your desktop again right but, but, but before you press OK make sure this is on the top like when you add it it's gonna be at the very bottom so you have to click on it and click the up button right click it up all the way to the top then when you hit OK it's gonna crash your desktop hold control alt delete and use your arrow keys to select restart. And when you restart your system, you should have the have your uh, what do you call it? your shadow back. So, like I said, if you don't want it, you know, don't bother. But anyways, I think I'm running out of time already. So, uh, so yeah, like I said before, you know, the rest of the the settings are kind of like up to you what you want, what you don't want. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm testing this on Intel hardware, so it might be different for for Nvidia and ATI guys. So, I don't know. If you have any questions, like I said, just ask. So, uh, see you later.